for... I really don't have a team for Lee Shibudan. I don't use him at all. He, I really don't think he's that good of a character. Some people like to use him with his healing, like... They'll use a like, couple healers in the team and then slowly whittle away at your health while ke consistently healing, which it's really annoying, but it, it's it's a team. Oh, 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 before I forget, another team for Naruto Shippuden is Naruto Shippuden, Kankura, and Kurenai. Basically, I don't have Kurenai yet, so I can't show you. Basically, you're going to use her Cherry Blossom thing, I think that's what it's called, to be doing 10 damage. You'd use Conqueror's Affliction, and then you'll start using Naruto's o o o Dama Rasengan, however you say it. And basically, you keep using that whenever you have it. Plus, Kurenai, you can use her Tree Tree Bind, what, or not, I don't know what it's called. The thing that does 20 when and it stuns. You can use that, and also Conqueror, you can use his um. Black Secret Machine one shot whenever you have the three random chakra and aren't using another tech for someone else. Like if you get three chakra that like if you get three blood, then you'll probably want to use Conqueror's thing and that will take him out. Um Alright, big, 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 big team here. This one got me my entire record here. Forty and fourteen. Very good record. I mean if you argue so, that's fine, I don't care. I think it's a really good record and I don't lose very often. Choji, Iruga, and Sakura S. I'll explain this team as easily as I can because this team is kind of complex to use. On the, if you go first, you're, if you're the very first turn, use a Choji pill. I don't care, it doesn't matter what chakra you get, just use a Choji pill. The second turn, you'll use Sakura's healing, First, you'll take Choji will take another pill, and then you use Sakura's healing. This will make it so Choji has 90 health. That's the maximum amount you could have if you want to heal with her and use another pill in the same turn. After that second pill, what you'll want to do is you'll want to hope for a meat tank. If you have a red and two other colors when you do the pill and the heal, keep the red. Or, not the red, the blood, sorry. Use the blood and use Meat Tank on the opponent you think will be the most dangerous. Meat Tank is a big thing in this game. It keeps Choji invulnerable and it does constant damage. Use Sealed Bomb Square Formation if you get it. Use it with Meat Tank. That'll be pounding double the damage that Meat Tank normally does. It'll be doing Meat Tank would be doing 30, doubling 60. You're doing 60 per turn already. That would kill him in two hits. You'll be using the squared seal bombs along with Choji's arm, or partial double size, to be killing an opponent in one hit. 60 doubled is. Er, yeah, 60 doubled is 120. If you get the third pill, cool. If not, not a big deal. Two pills usually can win it for you. If you have time for the fourth pill, there these Jirobos, uh, Wall, or some other. Somebody's other wall or something, or stun you, or not stun you, um, make or hold you invulnerable, and you can use the third pill. Fine, great, it'll help kill him faster. Um, any questions about this team in particular, I will be gladly to answer them. Uh, sorry if I confused you a little bit, that team can be a little hard to use. Um, one other thing I wanted to say was a Shio team. It's not a great team, but it's a pretty good team. Basically, the idea is Shio, Suzune, and Conqueror. This team is awesome because you don't have to worry about Chakra. All you're worried about is you're getting your three Chakra turn. So basically, what you're going to do is use um. Sorry, hold on a second here. You can use Shio's ally puppetry on Konkuro or Shizune. Most likely Shizune because she can't heal herself. Um, use it on Shizune. That'll be giving her damage reduction, which is a good thing. Um, just be pumping out these two attacks right here. 
these, these are some big attacks. Use just this to rampage the field whenever you get it, and this to pound and hurt. And if it's like your, your version of Choji or somebody else is that that's invulnerable, then you can use this pound right through the invulnerability and stun them and do damage. Conquer, you want to do the affliction, so if they do go invulnerable, won't matter. Affliction still goes through. Same with Shizune. You can want to constantly use the affliction and the invulnerability piercing skills. <coughs> okay, um, I hope I helped someone with this video. This was Emotachi, aka Dark, Din Dark Jinjerky. Um, until the next video, I will see you later. Oh, and if you have any ideas for the next video, besides continuing on the Shippuden characters, I would be glad to do them if you make a request. Just post a comment on the video saying what you think would be a good idea for another uh, segment, and I would be glad to do it. Also, private message me if you have any questions or need a specific team, want to have a team for a specific character or something, feel free to ask me. This is Dark Jerky, signing out until next time.